And sometimes I go into the unknown, into places that I've never been before, excited to do it. I remember I rode my motorcycle from Pennsylvania down to Panama. I uh, had never even had a motorcycle before that. That was my the first motorcycle I ever legitimately owned. It was a BMW F650 GS Thumper adventure bike. Aluminum hard bags on it. That thing was meant for crossing continents and that's exactly what I did with it. I decided that before I even had a motorcycle license that I was going to ride my motorcycle over to, to to the MSF course to get my license I totally did that of course the MSF course was in Albuquerque New Mexico I bought the bike in El Paso Texas so really didn't know much about how to ride a bike and then I cut my teeth on that motorcycle by taking it 10,000 miles first I went up to Denver in the winter time that was stupid. Going in the blizzard, going in the snow. I was too dumb to know you shouldn't do that on a motorcycle, but I totally did. Then I rode it over to Pennsylvania, stayed there for a couple months, rode it back to El Paso, crossed the border into Mexico, and very quickly started to rack up miles in Central America. Again, having almost no motorcycle experience at this time. And that was exciting, that was fun. But I remember this choice point in my life. When I was just about to cross the Texas-Mexico border. And I had to decide. Like I was really feeling the fear. I was feeling how scary it was because I had never done that before. My passport was uh, basically empty at that point I'd certainly never crossed a border you know there was there was a, a a time a time crunch there was a place where I had to be there was a money crunch as well like I wasn't sure how much it was going to cost me I was afraid that the bike would get stolen that I'd have to fly home or something I was afraid that I might get killed I'd never ridden a motorcycle through Mexico or Central America in general at that point And I came to this choice point at the border. I was pulling out, Department of, Home, Department of Homeland Security is there. And like anything to declare on your way outside the US? I'm like, uh-huh, I'm scared. <laughs> What's over there on the other side? I asked the guy, he says, I don't know, never been. He said, but, but watch yourself over there. You know, Mexico is dangerous. I was like, really? And you know what? At that moment, I realized there was this little turnaround place I could turn around. Last chance to turn around in the United States. And I remember consciously making the decision, consciously asking myself, saying, Paul, when you are old, do you want to be the man who did it? Or do you want to be the man who didn't do it? Do you want to be the man who faced your fear? Do you want to be the guy who rode your motorcycle through Central America? And no matter what happens, or do you want to be the guy who didn't do that? You want to be the guy who turned around at the border, sold the bike, and went home. And I decided then and there that I was going to be the man who did it. And that is an ethos that has defined my life ever since. When I get to a place where I'm afraid and I ask myself, Am I going to be the man who does it? Am I the man who goes for it? Or am I the man who chickens out and doesn't? And I went for it. And three months later, I ended up at the end of the road down in Central America where the road ends. There is no more road. 